Hello, guys. What's up? How was your day? Happy Monday. Happy Martin Luther King Day, if that's today. Anyway, guys, happy Mondays. Spoilers incoming, so if you don't want spoilers, don't watch my videos. I never say that at the beginning, and then I forget. Anyways, as you guys know, why I celebrate Mondays, because the new Beyblade episode comes out, guys, and I'm super excited, excited, super hyped, it is awesome, I love the show, love it to pieces, love it so much, I'm gonna stop saying how much I love it and just talk about the episode, so yeah guys, spoilers incoming, do watch this video, watch one of my other videos if you don't want to watch this. Ha <laughs> I'm funny, watch one of my other videos, that's ridiculous. Yeah, realistically, I don't think anyone's gonna watch this episode. It wasn't like five versus hearts. That that got a lot of views for my standards. But this, I'm basically just gonna give about like six views, ten views tops is my guess. But anyway, anyway, my picture is Toko, Toko Natsu, whatever. Yeah, and if you guys notice, I'm filming on like a weird, not my usual Kindle Fire, that piece of trash. I'm filming on a, another device. I know I could easily just edit a picture, but I'm lazy and dumb. And those two things don't go together. So anyway, guys, let's finally just talk about the episode. So, it starts off like they're, like, at the school or whatever. Yeah? Why do I re never remember the beginnings? This episode was really good, just saying, guys. It's so cool with Toke goes back. And there's a really interesting thing that happens at the end. You guys probably already know, but... Anyway, so there's, like, this new stadium, the principal, the prin principal, Shinoda... If that's who he is. But anyway, the principal, he shows him this new stadium. And everyone's like, whoa, this is so amazing. I haven't seen this before. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And everyone wants to battle in it. They're getting ready to battle. The principal even wears like a referee outfit, which is kind of weird, to be honest. Like, why did he have to wear that? But anyways, they're at the battle. And then, out of nowhere, you see some flower petals going through the wind. And we all know who's who that is, right? It's Suo, guys. They keep bringing Suo back and then just ditching him. But still, it's awesome. Suo's back. Suo is just like, hello. Like, he's just smiling. But yeah, and this time, I think Suo is staying. I'll talk about that later. But anyway, yeah, Suo's back. He wants to battle in the new stadium, I guess. Because he does go to the school, I think. Don't know why he's always never with them. But, you know. So yeah, Suo wants to battle. And everyone's... Gonna battle, so yep, they all, so, the people that are battling in the stadium, for you guys to know, Toko, Ega, Fuboki, Suo, Ranjiro, and of course that loser Koji, some reason's battling, you know, Koji's little brother guy, the blue Garuda, yeah, anyway, they start battling, and here's how it goes out, there are actually no burst finishes in the battle, but anyways, the battle starts, they all go win, pew, 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 eight. Ega brings out Koji. Koji's grew up. That was obvious because Koji's like a bad blader and whatever. And then, like, this one moment, what happens next? Does Ranjaro get out? Probably. Yeah, Ranjaro gets wrung out or something. I don't really remember Ranjaro in the battle. I remember Koji because he was so bad. But anyway, then Koko, he like lands in this other area. Like, he almost gets wrung out, but he doesn't. Suo. So then the, there's Suo Fabuki. Toko and Ega are left, because Rajaro and um, Koji are trash. And then what happens, I think Suo, Suo is like going crazy, he's like going for Toko mostly. He almost gets Toko out, but then he like gets back in like another part. But then, yeah, Suo rings out Fubuki, which is weird, like why do they get the weak bladers tough? Like, Fubuki's out, and then here's the big plot, it's like Ega, he doesn't really know how to control his bay yet, is my guess, and he like... Bumped into the wall and like wrung himself out. Like he he overfinished himself. And Ego's just like, what the heck? And Nora's like, Ego's little sister Nora, she's like, uh. And then, um, and then so Suo and Toko, like the two weakest, besides Ranjaro and Hoji, Koji, of course. So I guess, I guess they're not the two weakest, but anyway, Toko and Fu Suo are the last two left. And everyone would expect Suo to win. Suo's doing crazy. He's going all in there. Hits Toko. Toko uses base spear that we see for the first time. And man, that base spear tried it. It has like this luscious hair. Like it has this black hair. I hate it. And yeah, Suo has this awesome salamander base spear. They both hit. Suo knocks him, tried it, hits him, and he ends up with the survivor finish. 
kind of lame way to win, but that it's cool that they made Toko win. That's that's really cool. So yeah, Toko wins. He's like so happy. He's like, I never would have thought I would be win because I'm a loser. Uh, he didn't say that, but because no one would be able to call themselves a loser. And everyone's just so happy. They're like, wow, you beat everyone. You won. Toko's like, yeah, I did it. Woohoo. Everyone's congratulating him. Even Suo. Suo gives him a handshake. And that's weird. I didn't think Suo liked Toko. But yeah, because was nice, right? But yeah, anyways, after that, they're like doing flashback. Like, Fubuki. I forget, like, Ega's remembering when he battled Toko. And then, um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the flash. They happen in other episodes. And then Fubuki remembers when, um, he battled Ega for some reason. Like, Subo and Fubuki are talking about something. And, but then, um, Ega and Ranjiro, they both go out into the grass. The episode's almost over. And, um, they... Oh, yeah, they were, about, they were just thinking about that time they battled a bunch. I don't know what that ring was. It was a notification. But anyway, yeah. They just remember when they battled a bunch. And, yeah, fun times. And then everyone's over there. And then Suo comes out. And I'm pretty sure Suo is officially a main character now. And that is my favorite part of the episode, I think. If Suo actually... I can't speak Japanese, so I don't know what's going on. But I hope that Suo is staying. Like, he doesn't have to be relevant. I just want him to be there. Like, say some stupid stuff. But yeah, it's awesome Sue was there. And yeah, the episode ends. So let's talk about next episode for a little bit. So next episode preview. Free versus Fi. What I think is going to happen. Fi, Fi, I think Dead Phoenix. Because Fi just got his new bed. And he has his ridiculous evil villain clothes. Like, they look ridiculous to me for some reason. I don't know why. They're probably supposed to be cool and I'm just weird. But anyways, they battle. I mean, it didn't happen yet. They're going to battle. I think Drain as in Geist, is going to break. That's just me. Probably not going to happen. And man, this was long. I thought this would be a short reaction. But anyway, guys, I can't wait for next week. Seems super hype, super dope. Anyway, guys, Dark Blade is out of the house.